Okay. There we go. Okay, so Rose started off our worship service today with a song called the Boker Tov about good morning, saying good morning to the Lord. And traditionally, ideally, one would say this first prayer um, before you actually take your head off the pillow. Now, I don't have that uh, self-discipline to be able to say or sing this prayer before I get my head off the pillow, but I often wake up my children with this song. So, Mode yani lefanecha, melecha vakayam, shekezarta binishmati bachem la, bachem la, rabahim unitecha. I gratefully thank you, O living and eternal King, for you have returned my soul within me with compassion. Abundant is your faithfulness. The beginning of wisdom is the fear of Jehovah, good understanding to all his practitioners. His praise endures forever. Blessed is the name of his glorious kingdom for all eternity. Now, if you happen to have a siddur, all the page numbers for these prayers are written in blue above. If you don't have a, a siddur, we're going to um, get this, get this document available to us. And now we're going to put on our tallit. Bless Jehovah, O my soul, Jehovah my God. You are very great. You have done majesty and splendor, cloaked in light as with a garment, stretched out the heavens like a curtain. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and has commanded us to wrap ourselves in the tzitzit. And then we turn to page three. Ma, sorry, page thirteen. Matovu o halika Yaakov mishkenoteka Israel. How goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling. Places, O Israel. As for me, through your abundant kindness, I will enter your house. I will prostrate myself towards your holy sanctuary in awe of you. O Jehovah, I love the house where you dwell and the place where your glory resides. I shall prostrate myself and bow. I shall kneel before Jehovah, my maker. As for me, may my prayer to you be at an opportune time. O God, in your abundant kindness, Answer me with the truth of your salvation. Adon olam asher malak v'terem kol yitzir nivra le'et nasa v'ches sokol azei melech shemo nikra ve'akare kilot hakol e'abdo yim lot nora v'hu haya v'hu hove v'hu yiye betifara v'hu echad v'in sheni l'cham shilo l'chakfira v'lit reshit v'lit tachlit v'lo haoz v'ham isra v'hu eli v'chad go'eli v'tzur chavli v'et tzara v'hu nisi u'manos li Menakosi bayom ekra, beado af kidrushi, be et ishan, be et ira, be im rushi geviati, adona li velo ira. Lord of the world who reigned as king, before creating everything, and at the moment all was made, then was his name as king proclaimed, and after all comes to an end, the awesome one will be sovereign, he was and is and is to be, he will remain in majesty, he is but one and none exist, to equal him or to assist, Without beginning, without end, authority belongs to him. My Redeemer lives, 
He is my God. He is my rock when times are hard, a banner and a safe haven, my portion when I call to him. I give my spirit to his hand when I lie down and I will stand, and with my flesh my soul will be. I do not fear the Lord's with me, and in his temple I will sing. He sends us our Messiah King, and in his house rejoice again. Before the awesome one, Amen. Page 19. My God, the soul you placed within me is pure. You created it, you fashioned it, you breathed it into me. You safeguard it within me, and eventually you will take it from me and restore it to me in time to come. As long as the soul is within me, I gratefully thank you, Jehovah my God and the God of my forefathers. Master of all works, Lord of all souls, blessed are you, Jehovah, who restores souls to dead bodies. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, King of the universe, who gave the heart understanding to distinguish between day and night. Amen. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, King of the universe, for bringing me into the covenant. Amen. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, for not having made me a slave. Amen. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, King of the universe, for having made me according to your will. Amen. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, King of the universe, who gives sight to the blind. Amen. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, King of the universe, who clothes the naked. Amen. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, King of the universe, who releases the bound. Amen. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, King of the universe, who straightens the bent. Amen. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, King of the universe, who spreads out the earth upon the waters. Amen. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, King of the universe, who has provided me my every need. Amen. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, King of the universe, who firms man's footsteps. Amen. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, King of the universe, who girds Israel with strength. Amen. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, King of the universe, who crowns Israel with splendor. Amen. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, King of the universe, who gives strength to the weary. Amen. Continuing page 21. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, King of the universe, who removes sleep from my eyes and slumber from my eyelids. And may it be your will, Jehovah our God and the God of our forefathers, that you accustom us to study your Torah and attach us to your commandments. Do not bring us into the power of error, nor into the power of transgression and sin, nor into the power of challenge, nor into the power of scorn. Let not the evil inclination dominate us. Distance us from an evil person and an evil companion. Attach us to the good inclination and to good deeds, and compel our evil inclination to be subservient to you. Grant us today and every day grace, kindness, and mercy in your eyes and in the eyes of all who see us, and bestow beneficent kindnesses upon us. Blessed are you, Jehovah, who bestows beneficent kindnesses upon his people, Israel. May it be your will, Jehovah my God and the God of my forefathers, that you rescue me today and every day from brazen men and from brazenness, from an evil man, an evil companion, an evil neighbor, an evil mishap, the destructive spiritual impediment, a harsh trial and a harsh opponent, whether he's a member of the covenant or whether he's not a member of the covenant. Page 27. Always let a person be God-fearing privately and publicly. Acknowledge the truth, speak the truth within his heart, and arise early and proclaim. Master of all worlds, not in the merit of our righteousness do we cast our supplications before you, but in the merit of your abundant mercy. What are we? What is our life? What is our kindness? What is our righteousness? What is our salvation? What is our strength? What is our might? What can I say before you, Jehovah our God and the God of our forefathers? Are not all the heroes like nothing before you, the famous as if they'd never existed, 
the wise as if devoid of wisdom and the perceptive as if devoid of intelligence for most of their deeds are desolate and the days of their lives are empty before you the preeminence of man over beast is non-existent for all is vain but we are your people members of your covenant children of abraham your beloved to whom we took an oath at mount moriah the offspring of isaac his only son who was bound on top of the altar the community of jacob your firstborn son whom because of the love with which you adored him and the joy with which you delighted in him you named israel and yeshrun therefore we are obliged to thank you praise you glorify you bless sanctify and offer praise and thanks to your name we are fortunate how good is our portion how pleasant our lot how beautiful our heritage we are fortunate for we come early and stay late, evening, morning, and proclaim twice each day. Turn to page 29. Shema Israel, Yehovah Eloheinu, Yehovah Echad, Baruch Shem. Kevod Malchuto Leolam Vayed. Hear, O Israel, Jehovah is our God, Jehovah is one and only. Blessed be his glorious sovereign name, whose kingdom is for all eternity. And you shall love Jehovah, your Elohim, with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your resources. Let these matters which I command you today be upon your heart. Teach them thoroughly to your children and speak of them when you sit in your home, while you walk in the way, when you retire and when you arise. Bind them as a sign upon your arm and let them be to fill in between your eyes and write them on the doorpost of your house and upon your gates. Page 41 at the bottom. Master of the worlds, you commanded us to bring the continual offering at its set time that the Kohanim be at their assigned service and the Levites on their platform and Israelites at their station. But now through our sins, the Holy Temple is destroyed. The continual offering is discontinued and we have neither Kohen at his service nor Levite on his platform nor Israelite at his station. But you said, let our lips compensate for the bulls. Therefore, may it be your will, Jehovah our God and the God of our forefathers, that the prayers of our lips be worthy, acceptable, and favorable before you, as if we had brought the continual offering at its set time, and we had stood at its station. The Mourner's Kaddish is on page 57. May his great name grow exalted and sanctified. Amen. In the world that he created as he willed, may he give reign in his kingship in your lifetime and in your days and in the lifetime of the entire family of Israel, swiftly and soon, and now respond. Amen. May his great name be blessed forever and ever. Blessed, praised, glorified, exalted, extolled, mighty, appraised, and lauded be the name of the Holy One. Blessed is he. Blessed is he. Beyond any blessing and song, praise and consolation that are uttered in the world, and now respond. Amen. May there be abundant peace from heaven and life upon us and upon all Israel. Amen. He who makes peace in his heights may make peace upon us and upon all Israel, and now respond. Amen. Turn to page 83, Yishtabach. May your name be praised forever, our King, the God, the great and holy King, in heaven and on earth, because for you it is fitting, O Lord, our God and the God of our forefathers, song and praise, lauding and hymns, power and dominion, triumph, greatness and strength, praise and splendor, holiness and sovereignty, blessings and thanksgiving from this time and forever. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God, King, exalted through praises god of thanksgiving master of wonders who chooses musical songs of praise 
King, God, life giver of the world. Amen. And then we will stand to do the Shemone Ezra, the standing prayers. And these are on page 99 in the Siddur. And I call out the name of Yehovah, ascribe greatness to our God. My Lord, open my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. In Hebrew we say, Adonai Svatai Tifta Ufi Yagid Tehila Techa. Blessed are you, Yehovah our God, the God of our forefathers, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, the great, mighty, and awesome God, the supreme God who bestows beneficial kindnesses and creates everything, who recalls the kindnesses of the patriarchs and brings a redeemer to their children's children for his name's sake with love. O King, Helper, Savior, and Shield, blessed are you, Yehovah, Shield of Abraham. And it's tradition to bow at that blessing at the end, where it says, blessed are you. You are eternally mighty, my Lord, the resuscitator of the dead are you, abundantly able to save, who sustains the living with kindness, resuscitates the dead with abundant mercy, supports the fallen, heals the sick, releases the confined, and maintains his faith to those asleep in the dust. Who is like you, O master of mighty deeds, and who is comparable to you, O king, who causes death and restores life and makes salvation sprout. And you are faithful to resuscitate the dead. Blessed are you, Yehovah, who resuscitates the dead. You are holy and your name is holy and holy ones praise you every day forever. Blessed are you, Yehovah, the holy God. You graciously endow man with wisdom and teach insight to a frail mortal. Endow us graciously from yourself with wisdom, insight, and discernment. Blessed are you, Yehovah, gracious giver of wisdom. Bring us back, our Father, to your Torah, and bring us near our King to your service, and influence us to return in perfect repentance before you. Blessed are you, Yehovah, who desires repentance. And here there is a tradition to strike the chest at the word erred, and also for the, for the word sinned. Forgive us, our Father, for we have erred. Pardon us, our King, for we have willfully sinned. For you pardon and forgive. Blessed are you, Yehovah, the gracious one who pardons abundantly. Behold our afflictions, take up our grievance, and redeem us speedily for your namesake. For you are a powerful Redeemer. Blessed are you, Yehovah, Redeemer of Israel. Heal us, Jehovah, then we will be healed. Save us, then we will be saved. For you are our praise. Bring complete recovery for all our ailments. For you are God, King, the faithful and compassionate healer. Blessed are you, Jehovah, who heals the sick of his people. And this is, would be where you would put in your personal prayer requests for healing. The year of prosperity. Bless on our behalf, O Jehovah our God, this year and all of its kinds of crops for the best, and give a blessing on the face of the earth, and satisfy us from your bounty. Bless our years like the best years. Blessed are you, Jehovah, who blesses the years. Sound the great shofar for our freedom. Raise the banner to gather our exiles, and gather us together from the four corners of the earth. Blessed are you, Jehovah, who gathers in the dispersed of his people, Israel. Restore our judges as in the earliest times, and our counselors as at first. Remove from us sorrow and groan, and reign over us, you, Jehovah, alone, with kindness and compassion. Justify us through judgments. Blessed are you, Jehovah, the King who loves righteousness and judgment. On the righteous, on the devout, on the elders of your people, the family of Israel, on the remnant of their scholars, on our righteous converts and on ourselves. May your compassion be aroused, Jehovah our God, and give goodly reward to all who sincerely believe in your name. Put our lot with them forever, and we will not feel ashamed, for we trust in you. Blessed are you, Jehovah, mainstay and assurance of the righteous. And to Jerusalem, your city, may you return in compassion, and may you rest within it as you have spoken. 
May you rebuild it soon in our days as an eternal structure, and may you speedily establish the throne of David within it. Blessed are you, Jehovah, the builder of Jerusalem. The offspring of your servant David, may you speedily cause to flourish and enhance his pride through your salvation. For we hope for your salvation all day long. Blessed are you, Jehovah, who causes the pride of salvation to flourish. And that this prayer would be where you would put in your other supplications, the cares and woes of this world. Hear our voice, Jehovah our God, pity and be compassionate to us, and accept the, with compassion and favor our prayer. For God, who hears prayers and supplications of you, from before yourself our King, turn us not away empty-handed. For you hear the prayer of your people Israel with compassion. Blessed are you, Jehovah, who hears prayers. Be favorable, Jehovah our God, towards your people Israel and their prayer, and restore the service to the Holy of Holies of your temple. The fire offering of Israel and their prayer accept with love and favor. And may the service of your people Israel always be favorable to you. May our eyes behold your return to Zion in compassion. Blessed are you, Jehovah, who restores his presence to Zion. We gratefully thank you, for it is you who are Jehovah our God and the God of our forefathers for all eternity. Rock of our lives, shield of our salvation are you from generation to generation. We shall thank you and relate your praises for our lives which, is our, which are committed to your power and for our souls that are entrusted to you for your miracles that are with us every day and for your wonders and favors in every season, evening, morning, and afternoon. For all these, may your name be blessed and exalted, our King, continually, forever and ever. Everything alive will gratefully acknowledge you, Selah. And praise your name sincerely, O God of our salvation and help, Selah. Blessed are you, Jehovah our God. Your name is the Beneficent One, and to you is fitting to give thanks. Establish abundant peace upon your people Israel forever. For you are king, master of all peace. May it be good in your, eye, in your eyes to bless your people Israel at every time and in every hour with your peace. Blessed are you, Jehovah, who blesses his people Israel. My God, guard my tongue from evil and my lips from speaking deceitfully. To those who curse me, let my soul be silent and let my soul be like dust to everyone. Open my heart to your Torah and my soul will pursue your commandments. As for those who design evil against me, speedily nullify their counsel and disrupt their design. Act for your name's sake, act for your right hand's sake, act for your sanctity's sake, act for your Torah's sake that your beloved ones may be given rest. Let your right hand save and respond to me. May the expression of my mouth and the thoughts of my heart find favor before you, Jehovah, my rock and my redeemer. And that would be the conclusion of your morning prayer service. But we're going to continue because we are here at Shabbat. And so we will lift the Torah. By he been so harrow, by your Moshe, Kuma Yehova, by a foot to Ivecha, by a new su messeneha mi peneha, Ki mitzion te se Torah, Ki mitzion te se Torah, Udava Yehova. Mirushalayim Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah Leamo Israel Big Du When the ark would travel, Moses would say, Arise, Jehovah, let your foes be scattered, let those who hate you flee from you. For from Zion the Torah will come forth, and the word of Jehovah from Jerusalem. 
Blessed is he who gave the Torah to his people Israel in his holiness. And it's tradition to kiss the Torah, but we don't put our lips directly on it. So we kiss our talit and give it to the Torah. Blessing of the Torah. Baruch ata Yehova Eloheinu melech haolam asher bachar banu mikol haamim v'netan lanu et Torah to Baruch ata Yehova noten ha Torah Amen. Blessed are you, Yehovah our God, King of the Universe, who has selected us from all the people and gave us His Torah. Blessed are you, Yehovah, Giver of the Torah. Baruch ata Yehova Eloheinu melech haolam. Asher Natan Lanu Haderek Le Yeshua Bemashiach Yeshua Amen. Blessed are you, Yehovah our God, King of the Universe, who has given us the way to salvation in Messiah Yeshua. Amen. And Jimmy will give us the ironic blessing today. So we we'll read the ironic blessing that came from the fourth book of the Torah and can be found in the chapter six verses 22 through 27. Yahweh spoke to Moses saying, speak to Aaron and to his son saying, this is how you shall bless the children of Israel. You shall tell them, Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. Yahweh lift up his face toward you and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I, even I, will bless them. And in somewhat broken Hebrew, Iba Rekaka Adonai Vayishma Reka, Yae Adonai Pana Veleka Vikuneka, Ise Adonai Pana Veleka Vayasem Leka. And in English, may Jehovah bless and keep you. May his grace and his face shine upon you. May Jehovah lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace and give you peace. Amen. O say shalom bimurma, who ya say shalom aleinu. They all call Israel, Vimru, Vimru, Amen. O say shalom, Bimruma, who ya say shalom, Aleinu. They all call Israel, Vimru, Vimru, Amen. Ya say shalom, Ya say shalom, Shalom, Aleinu. They all call Israel. Yahase Shalom, Yahase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu Ve'yalko Israel. Yahase Shalom, Yahase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu Ve'yalko Israel. Yahase Shalom, Yahase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu Ve'yalko Israel. May he makes peace in his heart, may make peace upon us and upon all Israel, and now respond. Amen. Amen. Amen.